Assalamualaikum My most memorable experience in Jordan Apart from going to uni, to the library and the long bus rides to Amman I would say going for marathons and cycling with friends With such an amazing view, Bismillah, Masha Allah Was definitely a great experience um, Another memorable one would be during COVID lockdown because um, I feel that I get to connect with my friends and family better. Aww. The situation was very uncertain and we were all so anxious but I like how we were all there for each other and looking out for one another. So all in all, despite all the negativity that surrounds COVID-19, I feel that it has brought us all together stronger. So yeah. My most memorable experience in Jordan would be um, it will be the simplicity or the routine I had there. Uh, I wish I had better, you know, extravagant things to say, but I don't. Uh, what I loved most and what I would miss most, because I know it's something I will not get in Singapore once I'm done with Jordan, it's the simplicity of the routine I had. It was just waking up and being woken up by my cat, Pika, in the morning. And that was probably the best way of getting waking up. Um, going for morning, morning classes, because I love morning classes. I love waking up in the morning, like, early um, and I'm texting Nasifa and my housemate where we're going to have lunch and that happens on a daily basis um, and then we'll have lunch and then we study at the at our favorite cafe so at a Starbucks or like another cafe and then going to the gym and then coming back home to have dinner with my other housemates and then because it's always dark uh, it's always winter when I'm there so we're always cuddled up in front of the heater with our cat and just talking about our day and I think that's something I'll probably miss the most just being at the comfort of at home and being at the comfort of the simplicity of things when I was there yeah what is my most memorable experience in Jordan? That is a hard one because there are multiple of experiences all of us went through and there are countless memories created from the school all the way to our own homes in Jordan. But one of my most unforgettable memory is going for road trips during the weekends or school holiday with good company and going to amazing locations like to Wadi Ram, to the Dead Sea. Uh, but one of my highlights is going for the camping trip to Wadi Ram. Just, I just love the stars there and the sand. It's just an amazing road trip slash camping trip. That is my most memorable experience. Okay, my first impression of Jordan would be definitely culture shock because um, cara orang bubal ataupun orang Arab bubal kat sana kind of scares me because orang bubal loudly and kasar. And then next thing is the places there. So the places there, uh, it's not that bad and it's not um, as good as I thought. Okay, basically it's not up to my expectation lah. But as long as it's uh, kira memenuhi apa yang diperlukan, then it's for me it's fine. And then the other one is makanan. When I first came to Jordan, I thought that it will only atau the Jordan will only serve Arab cuisine. <laughs> okay, and I'm not used to Arab cuisine, so I was like. Will I survive there when, when they only serve Arab cuisine? But yeah, because I'm not used to it and I'm not not used to it. Like, I haven't tried, so I I'm scared if I don't like it, so I won't survive it. So, my current impression of Jordan is the people there is actually even though they talk like kasa and loudly and like macam garang gitu. They're actually very nice and they are very friendly and they're very helpful. They're very approachable actually, especially towards Asian. Places in Jordan is so beautiful, especially at the like one of the seven wonders there. And then there are the, a few um, canyons there that I went like Petra. It was very nice, okay, because. Kat Singapore pun dapat canyon and then I went to Aqaba, the water was so clear and then it's like it was nice, it, it is so beautiful okay, because I can see through the water, I can see the corals and I can see stuff like that Yeah, the food there 
Uh, actually, my expectation was wrong because they not only serve Arab cuisine, they definitely serve um, Indian cuisine also. But Malaysians and Thailands, where they what business, and then uh, meaning especially business makanan lah. So we are also serve kat situ lah. I mean like dekat Jordan pun ada juga cuisine Malaysian and Thailand. Asian cuisine lah which also uh, a comfort food lah for us. My first impression of Jordan, uh, it's a very welcoming and warm country lah. Uh, I didn't spend my whole four years kat sana. Three years here because my fourth year kena balik due to COVID. Uh, my current impression pula after graduating, uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, I feel that uh, I macam happy lah dapat spend my whole for my one whole uh, year study there because for me it's, it's the country that I want to go uh, my pursue, pursue my studies there lah. uh, and when we all, and we all know that Jordan is part of Sham uh, including Palestine and Syria uh, and before going there pun I, I heard a lot of uh, macam benda baik lah macam orang-orang dia baik very welcoming uh, and I, I will stick to the impression lah uh, let's say in the few years ahead uh, I'm destined to go there to travel, studies ataupun uh, macam just singgah ke apa kan nak ke Palestine ke I will be trip to do so lah insyaAllah I will say push yourself to meet local friends you will learn from them a lot and they will teach and guide you with your studies as well secondly I would say my experience going to Wadi Mujib it is one of Jordan's most famous attraction and an unforgettable experience for me as for the obstacle, it was quite challenging, but I managed to complete it with the help of my friends. But that being said, I overcame all my fears and learned that we all have our weaknesses, that but we can become stronger by understanding what our fears are. With that being said, it's an end of a journey and a start to another journey. Thank you.